Well, thank you so much. Good morning. It's a pleasure to be with you here today. I always find it fascinating that uh, Scott references my, my football career, and I need to clarify that a little bit. Um, people say I played football at Baylor. That is a relative term, okay? Play implies that you get on the field. A few years ago, one of my colleagues that I played with at Baylor was on the Board of Trustees and he nominated me for an alumni award and I received it and I went back for the homecoming game and at halftime they took us down on the field and gave us our awards. I told people after that event I spent more time on the playing surface during that award ceremony than I did the whole time I was on the football team at Baylor. So let's just be clear about uh, that, that athletic career. You know, whenever I speak, I try to tailor my remarks to my audience. What is it that is important to them? What is it that they want to hear? I recently had the opportunity to sit down with your leaders and talk to them about their emphasis for the upcoming year. They stated to me that their emphasis wants to be workforce development. I, I will have to tell you that I could not be more pleased with that. I agree with that emphasis. I support that emphasis. We too in the legislature find that I believe that workforce development is very important. You know, it used to be that when we tried to recruit companies and businesses, they wanted to know what kind of incentives are you going to give us. That seems to have changed in recent years. The question is no longer what kind of incentives are you going to get us give us, but is do you have an educated workforce? Do you have a skilled workforce? Do you have people who can work at our company and do the job that we call on them to do? If Mississippi is going to prosper, we've got to have good answers to those questions. If you don't hear me anything, if you don't hear me say anything else today, please hear me say this. A strong, educated workforce is the backbone of Mississippi. If Mississippi is going to prosper, we have got to have a strong, educated workforce. If we have a strong, educated workforce, we prosper. If we don't have an educated workforce, we don't prosper. It is that simple. So with this in mind, I want to quickly talk to you about the role of the legislature, the role that the legislature has played over the last six years in the arena of workforce development, and talk to you for a minute about where we're going from here. Where have we been over the last six years and where are we going? First, where have we been? Over the last six years, your legislature has been very focused on the issue of workforce development. And I would like to just list for you a few things that we have done. We have passed the Mississippi Works Fund. This is to train unemployed persons to give them skills so that they can enter the workforce. We have passed the Mississippi Works Dual Enrollment Option. This allows potential or recent high school dropouts to duly enroll in their local school district and community college and receive dual credit. Students who complete the program get a high school diploma and a, or, and a certificate of in a career technical program or an associate's degree. Upon the completion of the program, the Mississippi Department of Employment Security helps them find jobs. And students who take advantage of this option do not have to pay tuition. We passed MDA job training grants. This authorizes MDA to give grants to colleges to cover the portion of costs associated with training and retraining employees for businesses that come to Mississippi or expand their operations in Mississippi. We have passed Districts of Innovation. This is a program that allows local school districts to have more innovative options for educating their students. These some of these school districts have teamed up with manufacturers in their local area to meet the needs of that manufacturer, to train their students specifically for the needs of that manufacturer. And this partnership has resulted in a lot of jobs for students who have received this training. But not only have we passed workforce development friendly legislation, we have put our money where our mouth is. In the area of appropriations and bonding, 2012 we put $38.5 million in the area of workforce development. Since that time, we have steadily increased this appropriation, and this last year we put $51 million 
an increase of 32% specifically designed to help develop workforce. We've also given $4 million to the MDA Workforce Training Fund. Now we just recently honored and, and, and celebrated, and I want to congratulate too, the MEC's Tech Master's Program, which we recognized a few minutes ago. This is $125,000 to go toward development of workforce. Let me tell you how I see that. That's not just an investment in workforce. That is an investment in the prosperity of Mississippi. And it's people like Cooperative um, Energy and Orgis who make that kind of thing happen. We need more people like that who are dedicated to workforce development in Mississippi to help us prosper. Now looking ahead, what can we expect from your legislature in the months and years to come? What more can we do? I read a couple of quotes recently which I thought were insightful. I'd like to read them to you. Laura Shinvin, who is the Director of Health Care Career Advancement Placement Program, says that industry is much more nimble than education. Things are changing so quickly in the healthcare industry that we need education to be able to respond just as quickly. A man named Lance Laverne, who is the Director of Talent Acquisition at Alcoa, says we have to encourage people to think more broadly and more positively about workforce jobs. And then we have to provide them with the skills to pursue those jobs. I think these two quotes describe in part the mindset of your legislature when it comes to workforce development. As we move forward into the future, we want to be responsive to the needs of industry, to your needs. We want to be nimble. We want to be able to provide that skilled workforce that you're seeking. This is the mo one of the motivations behind our desire to find a new K-12 funding formula. Our goal in, re in finding a new formula is to find one that is student-centered. By this we mean one that provides funding tailored to the specific needs of the student. Under this proposal, each school district would receive additional dollars or weights which are tied to the sp specific needs of the student. So every student will have a weight to prepare them for a career. So it should be clear that the motivation to rewrite our education funding formula is about preparing students to enter the workforce, to prepare them for a career, to prepare, the, prepare them to become, produ become productive Mississippians. Another goal is to engage people who share our vision for preparing students for the workforce. One of those individuals is one of your own, Sean Suggs. Sean Suggs is a former board member of MEC. He is the Vice President of Manufacturing at Toyota. He's a board member for the Center of Manufacturing Excellence at the University of Mississippi. He's also Vice President of the Public Education Forum of Mississippi, part of the State Chamber of Commerce that promotes rigorous academic work and technical training. I dare say there's anyone in the state who knows more about workforce development and the needs that exist in that arena. And it's this type of knowledge and experience that I was looking for when I appointed him to the State Board of Education last week. He will bring a much needed perspective to the role of education and what it, the, the role that it plays in our workforce. I believe he'll be able to help tailor our educational system to help us meet the needs of workforce which will result in a greater prosperity for Mississippi. Now I've given you just a brief snapshot in the short time that I have here of where your legislature has been and where we're going in the arena of workforce development. As I stated in the beginning, we believe workforce development is the backbone of Mississippi. We believe the prosperity of our state hinges on how well we put forth a trained and educated workforce. We need your help. We need for you to come alongside of us and help us as we pursue that goal. Now is not the time to disengage. Now is the time for all of us to come together and work hard to put forward that educated workforce. We are eager to work with you side by side to create that skilled, trained workforce that will result in a better and more prosperous Mississippi. Thank you so much for what you do. Thank you for helping us as we 
achieve and pursue these goals, and I look forward to working with you in the legislature. Please don't ever hesitate to come and call me. Thank you so much.